thanks. We'll see you then. In the meantime, want to show you these images coming into the News 3 newsroom as we follow up on the devastation in New Mexico. Gosh, the wildfires are just dramatic there in the state. Yeah, towers of flames, smoke leaving nothing but destruction behind and heartbreak too as two people have been killed so far. We know rain now is helping the fire crews tame some of those flames, but that rainfall is creating a new problem and that's the potential for flash flooding. If it's not one thing, it's another Duante Geraldino this morning with the latest on the disasters. Storm clouds and raindrops in New Mexico bring hopes of relief from two massive fires that have charred more than 20,000 acres since Monday. But the weather also raising the threat of high winds and flash floods. Officials now warning people who live nearby, get to higher ground. We are not out of the woods. And while this weather is... Um, helpful to the fire, not helpful to the floods. New Mexico's governor on Wednesday confirming at least 1,400 structures have burned, and that number may include around 500 homes. Non-stop sirens. Christopher Bryden and his mother are choosing to stay close to their Rio Doso home and wait out the blaze. We have a few animals. We're right here next to the hospital, and we, we figured, you know. We still have power. We still have Wi-Fi. Their neighbors and thousands of other people heeded the warnings to evacuate. We are very concerned about the potential loss of life. We know that there are several people still unaccounted for. Six-year-old local musician Patrick Pearson died in the fire. His children are now trying to convince others, get out before it's too late. No way is an easy way to go out, but a wildfire is just so traumatic and devastating. And this isn't a joke. If they tell you to go, you need to go. The state police are investigating the death of a second person whose remains were found in a burned car on Tuesday. Duarte Geraldino. CBS News.